Fourteen people have been injured as an explosion occurred at the main plant of German chemical giant BASF in Ludwigshafen on Monday. The cause of the explosion is still being investigated. The explosion was followed by strong fire. Fourteen employees were slightly injured in the incident, BASF said in a statement, adding that they were receiving precautionary care on site. The explosion took place around midday in the southern part of the massive plant, which is the largest chemicals complex in the world. Footage earlier in the day showed a cloud of smoke emanating from the plant. Residents were initially told to keep doors and windows shut, but authorities in the western city later gave the all clear. There was no danger to the public at any time, BASF said. It should be noted that this was the second explosion in BASF's Ludwigshafen plant in recent years. In 2016, the site was rocked by an explosion followed by a blaze that left five people dead. Some 39,000 people work at the site. Ukrainian engineers have found a smart solution to neutralize Russia's hunting anti-personnel mine, which consists of up to five standard anti-personnel mines and a special sensing device to control them, a gadget dropped from a drone, according to Forbes. The sensor is capable of detecting human footsteps from 90 meters stroke 300 feet away. When spotting anyone approaching the minefield, long before they are even aware it is there, hunting selects the nearest mine and triggers it. In July, Russian military blogger Combat Engineer wrote on a Telegram channel that the Ukrainian military came up with a solution against hunting a metal cylinder with a spike dropped from a drone. The hunting series was originally developed back in the 1970s to make minefields deadlier. Sappers were getting better at detecting and removing or destroying mines, so a new weapon was needed to disrupt attempts at tackling a minefield. The hunting system consists of up to five standard anti-personnel mines and a special sensing device to control them. The usual type are OZM-72 frog jumping mines, which are normally actuated by a tripwire. When triggered, the frog throws a grenade into the air, which detonates at waist height throwing shrapnel with a lethal radius of 25 meters. Hunting can also be rigged with MON-50 Claymore-type directional mines or the POMZ-2 mine on a stick. The device has the name Artemida on the side, which is a Ukrainian name for the Greek Artemis, the goddess of hunting. The mill blogger said that Artemida emits a series of pulses imitating human footsteps to fool hunting's sensor into firing off all its mines harmlessly and disarm it. Artemida depends on identifying or suspecting the location of a hunting minefield, but its primary advantage is striking before anyone gets close enough to detect it. Earlier, the Security Service of Ukraine said that since 2022, mines and other explosive weapons have injured thousands of Ukrainians and killed 297 people. Many of them were children. Investigations revealed that the Russians purposefully set up mine traps near or within populated areas in combat zones. To camouflage these explosives, the invaders use various everyday objects, including children's toys and candy boxes. On the night of July 29, there was a drone attack on Kursk and Belgorod regions of Russia. Local telegram channels reported on this. As a result of strikes by Ukrainian kamikaze drones, explosions and fires occurred in electric substations in both provinces. No casualties are reported. The Russian Ministry of Defense announced that there were drone attacks on Kursk, Belgorod, Bryansk, Voronezh and Leningrad regions, and that 39 drones belonging to the Ukrainian army were shot down over the country by means of air defense systems. Thank you. 